said, you're starting at second base tonight. And all of a sudden it like hit me. I was like, oh, I'm playing in this game tonight? <laughs> well, I'm here with the man, Matt Antonelli. Antonelli baseball, first round draft pick. <laughs> Like, how tall is the grass in this game? It's like being a bust. Never even thought of the word bust, really. I played at Wake Forest, and one of the reasons I chose to go there was the competition that I was going to not only face playing against other great players in the ACC, but competition on my team. You step on campus and some kids are four years older than you and you're not the best player anymore. I remember my junior year of high school, I tell this story a lot, my dad and I went down to the University of Virginia and watched Florida State play Virginia uh, because I was speaking a little bit with Virginia at the time. And I watched the game and I left and I told my dad, I said, I could never play at this level of baseball. This is way too good for me. But if for some reason Virginia's silly enough to give me an offer, I'm coming here and I'm playing because that was the coolest thing I ever saw. So. Yeah, so I think about I think about that feeling as a young kid or a junior in high school, not even sure that I can play college baseball, and then all of a sudden getting drafted. When you put in a lot of work for a lot of years and then you finally hit one of your goals that you have, it I mean no doubt feels really, really good. We were in Washington and I was told I was gonna fly out the next morning and I was getting called up to the major league. I was flying to, to LA to play against the Dodgers. I was expecting to not play. I thought I was just gonna get in, kind of take everything in first day. Walked into the manager's office, said hello to him, and he said, you're starting at second base tonight. And all of a sudden it like hit me. I was like, oh, I'm playing in this game tonight? <laughs> My first time stepping on a major league field was the most nervous I've ever been in my baseball career at any level. Luckily for me, the first batter of the game for the Dodgers hit a ground ball to me, Russell Martin. I moved to my right quickly, I made the play. I remember fielding it and seeing the ball in my glove and I made the throw and when the out was made at first base, all of a sudden I went from the most nervous person ever to like this super calm feeling all of a sudden. And then all of a sudden I started to struggle. I started to get injured and all these things started to kind of snowball on me. And I never really got back to playing as well as I did earlier in my career. My major league season wasn't great. I went back down the AAA, didn't play well. I got injured. I missed an entire season with a wrist and hand injury. And then I continued to get hurt and I just could never get back on track. I remember plenty of times calling my wife and saying, you know, this is crushing me mentally and I don't know if I can keep doing it. And she was really helpful in helping me kind of get through a lot of those moments. My dad always felt like I should be the starting shortstop for the Padres for 20 years. And so he had a lot of confidence in me and was, and was you know, helping me stay positive as much as possible. It's hard to get to the major leagues and then it's really, really hard to stay there. You need a lot. You have to play really well. You have to stay healthy. You have to have a little bit of luck. You have to be in the right place at the right time. And for me, it just didn't happen, unfortunately. 